my name is Akono Sechem and uh, I am a fitness coach and also I also organize hikes and do team buildings, still uh, all part of fitness. When I walk in the gym, for me, before I start a workout, what I always do first is a uh, warming, warming up. I either do either bodyweight warm-ups or uh, any cardio machines, cardiovascular machines, or I uh, just use uh, bands for, uh, like, just to stretch my muscles. But, uh, and also, after that, I go into my workout, which normally take like uh, one hour to one hour, 30 minutes depending also on the day, maybe I might have taken too much and I uh, might be having the energy to go even two hours. After my workout, after that I have to wait for my clients so that I train them. And normally my shift runs from uh, 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. Then maybe I might have uh, evening, evening sessions. Then after that, my day is done by 6 p.m. I was inspired by this uh, lady who inspired me. She was my matron at the youth group where I was. And the second person was uh, my cousin who used to play rugby. So I used to admire how these people were physically fit and how they used to train. And also I can say personally self-inspiration since I was also active in things such as dancing. So I, I came up with the, I was so much interested with the aerobics, so that is how I joined fitness. There's a lot of advantages, but uh, the main one that I'll focus on is uh, main ones. Number one, hormonal balance. People never know that working out can also balance your hormones and also boosting immune system. Apart from uh, what people normally say, like, I want to reduce weight, I want to add bulk up, or I want to tone up. These are one of the things that people overlook, and I like. I like those two reasons. Or the third one can also be uh, good sleep. And uh, maybe I can also add uh, mental health. There are challenges. One of them is, uh, let me say, if I have clients from different places, Sometimes movement can become a challenge, which, uh, you know, our roads, sometimes traffic and uh, so on. And also the other challenge is uh, the name fitness coach or a coach. I can say it has been tarnished by, in a way that you can, people think that uh, all coaches are the same or uh, the way other people take them to be. So in some way, it uh, ruins business or the, the whole career. It is a good one. For me, I love the fact that I'm always in the gym. And uh, number two, the fact that I'm helping people achieve what they want. And uh, I always enjoy the part whereby a client comes and tells me that I have noticed this, this change, or even when the client tells me that I was told by someone that have changed in this way, in a good way, which are always uh, inspiring to a coach and also motivates a coach to do more. It shows that maybe the workout program that you give you gave the client or uh, what you are doing and the advice you're giving is working for the client. Just make sure that number one, you love serving people and also you love yourself to the extent that uh, you also have to look after yourself before you look after anyone else's health. And also, whenever you decide to join it, be as professional as possible. That is the only way you'll uh, at least go where you want to as a fitness coach. My future plan number one has always been uh, to make fitness fun to everyone maybe organize an activity whereby you can, you can be having everyone you know, from uh, all walks of life, anyone who's fit, anyone, if, if, if you're not fit, you're looking into starting your fitness journey, 
So you just come up with an activity whereby you will accommodate everyone. Plus also the activity should also uh, help the help nurture the kids who also want to join. Because currently, if you look out, you'll find that kids have no places to like a fitness place or a sports center that can help them nurture their talent and also keep fit. So for me, I'd say coming up with an event, not at least a two, two times a month event that can help people be fit. Fitness as a career can, is sustainable if only you are professional enough and also know how to communicate with your clients. Plus, it also depends on research. So you have to do a lot of research because uh, health, health-wise, things keep changing every day. And uh, you have to know how to, how to work with different types of clients, also depending on their health and uh, sometimes mental uh, health too, not just physical. And in terms of uh, as a source of income, it is still uh, sustainable because the, the more you better yourself as a coach in terms of the courses, because you have different courses that you can take to better your, the one that you did, and uh, that way I believe you'll be adding more stars to your, to your fitness. Fitness is still broad and uh, it has not been tapped fully. And I believe we can still do more, especially here in Kenya. Because uh, currently people only know about carrying lifting weights. And uh, I'm happy about those people organizing the bodybuilding activities and uh, those competitions of uh, strongman but I still believe we can do more in terms of fitness as an also an entertainment part. Whenever you decide to do something never have second thoughts. Believe in what you want to do and uh, I do not just call them dreams I call them visions. The visions you see, whether it's at night or even if you're sitting, what on a, they call them base, cure base. Eh? Whatever you vision, envision, try to make it into reality and push it. Find whoever will help you achieve what you want, and also the people you work with matter a lot. Of course, I'm not saying that you should choose the people you're working with, but yes, you also have to choose because what this person is uh, putting in your mind. It's either it will make you or break you.